Hey guys, this is Ashik Mato. In this video, I'm going to explain what is open telemetry and how to implement that in Kubernetes by using Grifo. Okay. So uh, consider you have a two service, service A and service 2. You want to find the latency between service A and service B, then you have to use open telemetry. If you want to improve your application performance and if you want to optimize, you must have to use traces. Let me show you how to implement this on your Kubernetes. Let's get started without wasting our time. See you there. I have already created my Kubernetes cluster. So now we have to understand what is the architecture of this open telemetry, okay? And what are the components we have to create? So whenever you want to get a trace or whenever you want to take a open telemetry data, so first you have to instrument your code. So what is mean by instrumentation? So basically code instrumentation, so we are integrating observability and monitoring with our code. So inside code, we will add some libraries uh, so this libraries will be responsible for sending the log data or traces data to our collector or agent. Okay, so here you can see that uh, I have already instrumented my code. So this is my JS Node.js backend application. Uh, this is my Go application. So uh, based on the language, uh, we can go through the documentation and we can do the code instrumentation. This is basically has to do by the developers. Uh, but if you know, you can also do this. Okay, I have already instrumented my Python code, a sample code. Let me show you that. Okay, so here you can see that this is my Python code. Uh, this is I created from the ChatGPT only. Uh, you can see uh, this is basically have a root slash random. So when you hit this random, uh, this will go to multiple span. So finally you will get a random number. Okay, so basically whenever you hit uh, this URL, then slash random, this will give a random number. So what I have done here, I created some libraries. You can see open telemetry library. This library will be responsible for sending traces to my backend services or data so this is we will explain later uh, this is basically uh, send traces or logs from my application to my grafana so I'll, I'll tell you how this works okay so uh, you can see i specify the service name as feed service you can put your service name over here this is totally customizable uh, you can just add your service name whatever the services you have now let's back to our diagram so this is responsible for sending traces or logs or metrics to our backend services so to collect these logs uh, we need an agent so we have to create a collector or this we will call it as a collector agent so uh, what is the purpose of this this will collect the traces from these applications uh, then this will validate and this will format okay this is the purpose so as soon as this is give the traces and logs this will push to our backend service so purpose of this backend service this will this is responsible for store the data so if you have a lot of data this data will be stored in s3 bucket or this will store in azure blob storage or gcs storage so you can take any storage as per your requirement so here i'm using gcs storage Finally, from this backend, we can collect the traces through Grafana. Uh, Grafana we are using for uh, visualize our data uh, through a graphical user interface. Here you can see this is my collector. So under collector, uh, I have a values.yml. So here you might be see uh, maybe thousands of lines, but uh, no need to overwhelm. This is actually downloaded from uh, open telemetry documentation. We only need few data. Let me show you what all are important thing we have to see okay so if you come to this 90th line we have a config under config you can see we have an exporter so whenever we exporting the data it should go to tempo distributor so who is exporter so this is the collector whenever collector is exporting data this should go to distributor that's what i added my distributor url here 4318 okay so if i come down uh, you can see the receiver who is the receiver i configured for jagger OTLP HTTP uh, basically this is the one our application is sending data then I have configured for Prometheus Zipkin these all are optional if you don't want you can remove this if you are not at all using as of now this is the default configuration I haven't removed anything I use the same as default I have already applied this application on my Kubernetes let me show you that if I open my Kubernetes you can see trace collector open telemetry collector this is already there let me open this and see the logs see you can see the logs here so there are certain application is already sending traces that's what you can see data type trace name debug resource span for span you can see a lot of data here next we have to implement tempo service so tempo uh, this is a backend service the purpose of tempo uh, this is responsible for store the data okay if you want to store the data then you must have to use tempo okay so uh, let me show you how to implement tempo to implement tempo first we have to go to uh, this directory under tempo distributor go to values.yml let me show you some important settings okay you can see a uh, bucket name so uh, as of now i have configured bucket for gcs so as per your requirement you can configure this for s3 bucket uh, 
blob storage or uh, google storage or uh, whichever you want you can see url right just hit on this url yeah so now you can see that uh, under storage we can configure s3 gcs azure storage even local file system also support okay so after that you can just apply this file as soon as you apply this file uh, you will have a multiple ports you can see that i have i have got multiple ports right now uh, tempo courier front end courier i have a memcache this is for caching uh, this is responsible for storing my data in my s3 bucket and this is responsible for uh, gateway uh, access but this is optional one this is we can leave this is same as uh, distributor distributor is responsible for collecting the data from the collector compactor this is compact the data this is deduplicate the data from the gcs or s3 bucket okay so let's see whether it's work or not okay to test this we have to go to grafana let me just uh, log into grafana first after logging into your grafana account in left side you can see multiple options so uh, you can go to data source uh, you can see that connections under connection you can see add a new connection and data source so you have to select add a new connection so select tempo data source because our backend service is called as tempo click on this tempo click on add a new data source so now you have to provide the tempo see this is the name tempo uh, under this you can pass your tempo service name so now you can see this is my courier friend uh, this is responsible for query the data from courier courier will take from uh, our gcs storage or long term storage okay i have added my courier friend uh, then my namespace then svc cluster.local then at last my port number of my service let's go to my service and click on save and test and you can see successfully connected to tempo data source to view the data you can click on explore view uh, you can click on the search uh, here you can see multiple service name here now you can see i have added feed hyphen service uh, this service we created for a demo purpose uh, if i come down you can see all the traces so whenever i hit random this path uh, i'll get it traced and if i click on this trace point this will go to this trace id and this trace id will give all the details so whenever i hit this random this will go to my number request then child one child two then finally i will get my response so total this is took 15 seconds now we can hand over this to developers and they will be able to collect the data they will be able to uh, optimize their application very well okay that's it if you need any support to implement this uh, please uh, do reach me out so i'll help you thank you thank you so much for watching my video bye